Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at Product Tronica 2013 in Munich and I'm joined by Chris Hall, who is from Electrolube and takes care of their Australian and New Zealand market. Fascinating markets. Unusual to see a rep from that area here in, uh, here yeah, in Munich. I'm a bit on my own over here, but uh, there's a few people come through. Yeah. A few of our distributors come through and a few Kiwis dropped okay. in to say good day. So, oh, that's great. And, that's uh, great. We had a party there one night, so yep. um, a couple of Australians come along and they yeah. just fitted right in and drank all the beer. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, not a stereotype at all. Yeah. Um, and the, the um, I guess that's the reason for having everybody together here, the rebranding, which we've already talked about and seems to be going very well and, and to me makes lots of sense, the whole idea of providing solutions. Tell me a little bit about the um, Australian and New Zealand electronic manufacturing market kind of the scale and, and the distribution. You're in Sydney, is most of it down in that corner? Most of the, in Australia, it's on the eastern seaboard right. uh, and it's in pockets. Uh, it can be in Brisbane or Melbourne or Sydney, but there's nothing in between, as mm. you know. Um, so it's quite spread and we, we need to be able to cover all that territory, but we need to have the stock there to cover it. Yeah. And then you go across to New Zealand, they're very innovative people. Right. Um, and, and you'll find some well-known brands and manufactured there. But then they have the same issue as us. They have the China close by, mm. so anything in large volume is shipped off to China or Malaysia. Okay. But we do have the niche type companies that are doing something different, yeah. something special, uh, and our range suits that yeah. type of industry, and uh, we can complement what they need. Yeah. yeah. And, and those kind of niche industries, what are they in? Are they in medical? Are they in industrial? Um, for example, there's a sleep apnea okay. manufacturer called Restmed, which is probably the largest company in the world. Um, we do a lot of mining type products, or, or in, our end customer is the mining industry. So, right. so those products uh, require some high tech products yeah. to make okay. them comply to the strict standards that they have to comply to. Okay, and compliance and certification is a big deal in those, so you have to have all that stuff in place. Yes, those. yes, it's all about protect, uh, keeping the product uh, encapsulated uh, and sealed so if there is a spark, okay. nothing's going to go up. So. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really important. And in terms of um, in terms of the approvals that are needed for those uh, those particular markets, I guess uh, Electroloop has a pretty broad range of of those approvals. Yes, we uh, we have our approvals, but then when the, the customer applies for their approval, which is a long process, yeah. it's just part of the link. Yeah. Into make to, to to get to that final. And that link's really important because visibility. We hear more and more about visibility and traceability yes. up and down the, the yes. supply chain. I guess you're shipping stuff that's manufactured either here in Europe or, or in Asia. Yes. It's coming down to you, you're distributing it across the space there. Yes. You've got to have a pretty close control over that. Uh, that's true. Yes, we, we have to regulate that and, and, and have all the documents. Yeah. Uh, and then down to our own products, we have to be able to justify that they do meet the approvals. And then we have the technical team here to as well as ourselves locally yeah. uh, to back up our products. Okay, and do you find that most of the companies that are operating in your region are companies that just have a facility there or do they have maybe a small facility there, R&D there and then it's going in volume up to up to the Pacific Rim, up to Asia? Um, they're, they're, they're generally, we don't have the large manufacturing companies, mm -hmm. so they're, they're all the smaller size, um, they'll do everything there and then maybe if it's volume yeah. It's shipped off. It's yeah. shipped off, sure. Yeah. From, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the market's flat? So uh, yes, we've had a pretty tough year and, and if anybody's watching the politics, it's probably had something to do with it. Yeah. And uh, it's quite, it looks like it's going to come good. Okay. Uh, starting to get a bit more stable. It's yep. a change of government and a bit more confidence back in the market. Yeah. Uh, Election so. years are always tough years for business, aren't they? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's almost you want the government not to interfere too much. Yes. And just let time go by. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, well thanks for stopping by, thanks for chatting, good to meet sure. you yeah, and nice um, to meet you. safe travels back. Thank you very Thank much. You.